Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded uh, square A, B, C, D fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with a center O, as you can see in this given diagram. And moreover, uh, O, P and O, Q are the radii of the very same semicircle. And furthermore, uh, the area of the semicircle has been given to us as 5 times pi square units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We have been given the area of this my circle as 5 times pi. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. I'm going to label this radius as lowercase r and we are going to find uh, the value of lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times uh, r square where lowercase r is the radius. And now let's focus on this uh, equation. And we can see the semicircle area is going to be pi times uh, r square and I'm going to divide it by 2 and that is going to be equal to 5 times uh, pi and now I'm going to remove the fraction by multiplying 2 on both uh, sides and here we can see 2 and 2 is gone so therefore we are ended up with the pi times uh, lowercase r square equals to 10 times uh, pi and now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by pi. So therefore we can see that this pi and pi is gone. So therefore uh, our radius uh, lowercase r square value is going to be equal to this pi and pi is gone as well. So this is going to be equal to 10. So thus our uh, r square value turns out to be equal to 10. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular OT on this uh, called AB. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of the circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, perpendicular OT is going to bisect uh, this uh, chord uh, AB into two equal parts. This segment uh, AT is going to be equal to this segment uh, BT. So therefore we conclude uh, that uh, this uh, segment uh, OD is going to be equal to this segment uh, OC. Since we are dealing with this uh, blue square and this is our perpendicular. And now let's assume that this uh, OD segment uh, is uh, X, then this uh, other segment uh, OC is going to be X as well. So therefore uh, this whole uh, side length of the square uh, CD is going to be X uh, plus X is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, X. So therefore we conclude that uh, this side uh, BC is going to be 2 times uh, x uh, as well. And now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, vertex uh, B. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this my circle. So I am going to label this one as our lowercase r. And furthermore, uh, bear in mind that this angle has got to be a 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, blue square. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle BCO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase r whereas uh, our two other legs are uh, x uh, and 2 times x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 2 times uh, x uh, whole square equal to lowercase r square. Let's simplify. We can get uh, x square plus uh, 4 times uh, x square is going to be 
equal to and here we can see our uh, r square value is 10 so i'm going to replace this uh, r square with the 10 value over here so therefore we're going to have a 10 on the right hand side let's simplify furthermore let's combine the like terms so that is going to be 5 times uh, x square equals to 10 and now i'm going to divide both sides by 5 to isolate uh, x square and here we can see 5 and 5 is gone so therefore our x square value turns out to be equal to 2 so thus our x square value turns out to be 2 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this uh, square is 2 times x so therefore our blue square area is going to be 2 times uh, x uh, whole square and that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, x square and now we know our x square value is uh, 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, x square value with the 2 over here so therefore we can write uh, 4 times uh, 2 and that is going to be equal to 8 square units the area of this uh, blue square ABCD so thus the area of this uh, blue square ABCD turns out to be 8 uh, square uh, units in other words the area of this uh, blue square is going to be equal to 8 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye